What are we working on? What is this thing? 10 of 04, so an 05. What's up guys, Scanner Danner here, working on a headache with that door chime. Uh, working on a 2005 Ford Taurus. Customer complaint is um, the intake manifold melted. <laughs> and um, I believe they're still complaining of low power. The catalytic converter was plugged, which we're pretty confident that's what melted the intake, probably right around the DPFE sensor. That's a pressure sensor for the EGR, for those of you that don't know. And uh, all I did so far is pull this over here, and I, I just want you guys to listen to this engine. Listen. I've done, I've done nothing else but pull it over here. Now listen to the way this revs. <laughs> Exhaust is still plugged on this. I don't even need to scan it. I don't, none of the above. I'm gonna show you guys a quick test. Looks like the new sensor's already bad. The back side of the new sensor is blown off. Light's probably harsh, but my my DPFE sensor is this guy right here. And look, it's all blown apart already. I imagine that they probably changed it whenever they did the intake. In fact, this hose is blown off completely. You guys see that right where my finger is? So that's where we're gonna connect our exhaust back pressure gauge, right to that hose on the DPFE. It definitely needs a new DPFE sensor again. They said the cat was replaced, but you got pieces of that cat lodged somewhere else in the exhaust, in the muffler most likely. As far as which hose to go to on this DPFE, it does not matter. I don't want them both open, because that'll change my readings. Okay. The fact that that sensor is blown apart tells us what we need to know too. All right, the test I use for these that has not failed me in 20 some years, no more than two PSI at 3000 RPM. I'll bet you it's more than that even at idle. Yeah, we're like one and a half just sitting here at idle. That exhaust is restricted still. So just a final word on this one. Uh, I've done quite a few of these exhaust back pressure videos. Um, I'll make sure that I link some in the description of this video so you guys can watch some other restricted exhaust testing I'm doing on Ford uh, that has the DPFE sensor that this one has and where I adapted to. Um, I have some other vehicles too where I'm doing some in-cylinder pressure waveform analysis to identify a restricted exhaust and then also other ones where I'm removing the oxygen sensor and doing the same measuring exhaust back pressure. Uh, this one, for those of you that don't know, has a tube that runs up to the EGR valve that comes from the exhaust and that's where that DPFE sensor connects to, those two ports that you were looking at. Well, the one I had disconnected, the other one was still connected. Those both go down to the tube that goes to the exhaust that goes to the EGR valve. So that's where I was doing my measurement. And again, the number that I use, steady throttle, 3000 RPM. Really, you shouldn't have any back pressure, very, very little. And this one you saw, I had four PSI. I didn't have a tachometer, so I wasn't exactly sure uh, what my RPM was, but it was close to 3000. Restricted exhaust for sure. And there are variables to this test because I'm only measuring the back manifold. And, um, you know, there's times where you're going to have to do a check on the front manifold because I believe there's a cat up front here too on the front side of this engine. Um, so this isn't foolproof. Uh, in other words, if it passes the back uh, cat test, because that's what that tube's connected to, you may need to do the front one as well. But in our case, 
Supposedly the cat was changed. When you have a cat that is destroyed and restricted, when you pull that thing out of the exhaust, you have to make sure that the discharge of that cat, that the honeycomb that's in there is still intact. So just put a flashlight in there and look at it. If there's any pieces missing, where do you think they went? Into the muffler, into the resonator, whatever else is in this exhaust. So. This is going back to the garage that did the work and um, they're gonna have to drop the exhaust again and probably change the muffler at least. Um, and then just see what, what else, maybe if there's a resonator under there too, that that probably would also need to be replaced. So that's it, nice quick and dirty plugged exhaust test. No reason to test drive it, no reason to really do anything else other than listen, use your ear, you hear that hissing sound uh, in, in particular when you have a complaint of a melted manifold restricted exhaust. So I hope you guys like that one nice and quick. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time.